And welcome back to All Over the Map. Thanks for tuning in. On today's episode, we've got news of the day for February 24th, 2022. The five news events, major news events, that we can play on a GeoGuessr game brought to you by All Over the Map. So here we go. We're going to do this as a get to it a no time limit moving allowed challenge as always the play along link for the news of the day will be in the description below and we're gonna get right into it and see what's up on the 24th of february so we've got pompeii uh yeah not what you're thinking i'm sure every major headline out there is ukraine and russia and uh, for us on all of the map <laughs> and GeoGuessr, it wants us to go to Pompeii. So what's uh, what's important about Pompeii or what's been going on? Well, something interesting, Pompeii's excavation uncovers duck and snails fast food shop. So as you know, it uh, may or may not know, a furious, furious volcanic eruption in 79 AD smothered the city of Pompeii. And, um, yeah, there's an interesting article about how it's experiencing rebirth. Work is underway to preserve the ruins and prevent further collapse as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Um, so, yeah, so this is uh, archaeological discoveries, stuff like that. A good find, uh, uh, a good article. But one of the unique things here is what did people eat in ancient Pompeii? Uh, well, it's a snack bar full of... Yes, fish, snails, ducks. They enjoyed quick meals in the street, were likely a mainstay of ordinary Pompeians. So, yeah, a little uh, nice article about Pompeii. Um, fast food back years and years ago before McDonald's was even a thing. So, let's take a look at this and see where we are. And uh, Pompeii near Naples in Italy. And um, there we are. There's Pompeii here. And we'll actually take a look here at the site, the archaeological site. There it is, Parco Archaeologico de Pompeii. And I think we're at, right outside the main gate. So it's a Roman city preserved by volcanic ash. So um, have not been here, but would love to go here. So if you've been to a place like this in Pompeii or if you've been this to this location, comment down below. I'd love to hear... A little bit more about it and we're going to get uh we're going to go for that location there we are eight yards five thousand points all right now we get on to the main news subject of the day which is ukraine as i take a sip a little parched a little dry where i am today um so we've got a subway in kiev well, what's interesting uh, about this, well, we know that um, there's been an invasion by Russia, a uh, large-scale military attack on Ukraine, and uh, yeah, so it um, explosions are heard across the country, tanks and troops under Ukraine, um, there's a supposed picture from Reuters, a Russian convoy entering the Kyrgyzstan region from Crimea. Uh, some dust reported, unfortunately, Ukraine says it's fighting back. So, again, some of these articles, uh, or these articles, excuse me, will be in the description below. Uh, but here's what I want to look at. Russians seek shelter. In Kiev, there are huge jams on expressways as people flee the city. Social media testimonies speak to a growing sense of panic, with some saying they are being rushed into bomb shelters and in basements. Um, television footage has shown people praying in the streets, and they've gone here into the underground metro stations. So I thought, uh, interesting, because I believe these metro stations are seemingly far below. I know that I've seen some videos from, I think it's either Bald and Bankrupt or a couple of these YouTubers that uh, they... Escalators go for a long way. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, but, yeah, so a lot of people are hanging out. Wait, are these... No. There's a lot of people looking the same in 
Ukraine there. The other thing, other interesting news article, which is not really pertinent to this actual location. It's interesting sculptures of some fellows that I see here. Um, but here's the other thing. I, was, I saw, I came across this. I didn't know how to include this in. But sleeping with the enemy, Russian troops are trying to pick up Ukrainian women on Tinder. Insane. Um, from Russia with lust, Russian soldiers poised to invade Ukraine have bombarded women on the other side of the border with Tinder messages. Dasha Silenikova's app lived up with matches from soldiers named Andre, Alexander, Gregory, Mikhail, and Black, some 20 miles away. Um, welcome to 2022. Uh, I mean, this is this isn't crazy. This is crazy. I would never have thought that uh, you would have been allowed to do something like this as a troop. But hey, I guess that's what happens in 2022. And crazy, crazy, crazy. So let's take a look at this. We'll see where we are in Kiev and take a look at this. The other thing I wanted to bring up as well. Well, that'll be coming in another article, I should say. So hold tight on that. Um. So let's look at Kiev. I think we were at the main train metro station, I believe. I think we were here at this one here. Let's just take a look as a perspective for those of you that are haven't seen this. There's Kharkiv, Luhansk, Donetsk, Kiev, we have Odessa, and the Crimea down here. So I believe all the attacks coming from Russia on all, I guess pretty much one, two, three sides. So there we are. Hopefully things calm down and peace is part of the game here soon because I'm all about that. So 5,000 points, 15 yards there in Kiev and we'll get off to the next article. And we're at the top of a ski area. There's a little chairlift operator as we, very beautiful sight here. Uh, I will have to say I love skiing. So this is right up my alley. However, what's not up my alley, um, there's a guy doing the old pizza pie. A guy get some good form there. There's a chairlift down there. I could be at this view all day long. Um, but what was interesting about this was no injuries after two Black Hawk helicopters go down near Snowbird, which is in Utah. Uh, National Guard officials say quick reaction training helped prevent anyone from being injured after two Black Hawk helicopters were involved in an accident in the Mineral Basin area near Snowbird. So, not sure what happened there, if they ran into each other or what, um, but they, you know, uh, looks like portions of the rotor blade separated from the helicopter and struck the second helicopter, sending it down to the ground. Uh, I think there are some pictures here. Here's Mineral Basin. There are the skiers there. There's the, um, the chopper, the Black Hawk chopper that went down so that had been an unnerving sight to see helicopters and blades going flying as you're skiing down on a uh, ski mountain. So let's take a look at this. Let's see where we are. Snowbird in Utah, which is east of Salt Lake City. And I've not skied at Snowbird, but I've skied at Park City in Deer Valley years ago. Uh, very close to Salt Lake City. Very nice, very beautiful part of the world. And I think... Here's Park City, Deer Valley. Yeah, look at look at all these ski areas within um, within. Uh, yeah, I mean you can ski from Park City Mountain to Deer Valley. Well, you can. I think it's um, yeah the top of here's the top of Deer Valley. You can basically see the people skiing at Park City, although you're not supposed to because of the lift ticket. Uh, but yeah, it's it's so, everything's so close in Utah at these ski areas. But in any case. Here is Snowbird. I think we're at the summit at Snowbird, and we're going to go for that. There's Mineral Basin just north. Take a look at, I think it happened right here, right in this area, Mineral Basin. So not sure what the Black Hawk helicopters were doing there. Maybe they maybe they were just taking a look at the skiers. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe they're taking some of their fellow guardsmen up there to go skiing. I don't know why they were there. That close to uh, an area with a lot of... Um, tourist and population in the mountains. So, in any case, there's that news article for, for the day. The next one here, we've got a guy transporting some some goods. Looks like some onions or stuff. It says, Defensa Civil Republica 
Dominica. So why are we here? There's the Dominican flag. There's some troops, Dominican troops. We got a lot of people coming in from that side, from Haiti. So we talk about walls, or we've heard about walls and border walls and all this stuff and over the past several years. But now the Dominican Republic begins building a border wall with Haiti. So the Dominican Republic, uh, Republican government on Sunday began building a wall that will cover almost half of the 392 kilometer border with Haiti, its only land neighbor to stop irregular migration and smuggling of goods, weapons, and drugs. While the two countries share the island of Hispaniola, they are worlds apart in terms of development. Crime plagued Haiti is one of the poorest nations in the Americas, while the Dominican Republic, a popular Caribbean tourist destination, has prospered in recent years decades amid marked political stability so we'll take a look at this that's the thing i guess it comes back to leaders or what i'm not really sure but yeah as you might have played this game before santa domingo is here porter prince is here and here's the border and um it's pretty crazy that you could be in this part in some beautiful areas i'm not saying there's not beautiful areas um in haiti but it is, it is night and day for, for most parts of um, Haiti to Dominican Republic. And I, I'm not so sure a border wall is going to do anything, but who knows? I mean, in any case, let's take a look at this. I think we're at a major border location here, which was, I think, at Dajabon. Dajabon. The other thing that's interesting about this is that um, the emergency bar, Resto, and Disco... They're um, Spanish here, French here, Spanish here, French here. So interesting um, that uh, on the same island of Hispaniola, you've got two languages, one of French, one of Spanish. So yeah, so not sure why. I'm going to guess it's leaders, but as you see here, a lot of people want to get the heck out of Haiti and go into the Dominican Republic. So, yeah, so they're building a wall to stop a lot of the migration, uh, the Dominicans. All right, there we are, 16 yards, 5,000 points, and we get off to the fifth and final round, and we've got Finnair. So, yep, we've included Finnair on this one somehow. <laughs> Why? Because Finnair has suspended flights over Ukrainian airspace. Yeah, so here's one for the Finns. Finland's national airline Finnair has announced suspension of flights over Ukrainian airspace following Russia's launching of a military attack on Ukraine on Thursday morning. The company does not fly directly to Ukraine, but it does fly over the western part of the country on three routes, to Turkey, to Israel, and to Dubai, the United Arab Emirates. The three flights will now circumvent Ukrainian and Belarusian airspace until further notice. The reason why I wanted, wanted to do this one is because I also wanted to show everybody a map, because this is a game about maps, geography, channel about that, I should say. Oh, as we go zooming in and out, um, well, there's Ukraine, <laughs> but uh, there's no flights on the flight aware map here. Maybe it takes a little while to load, uh, but nonetheless, here is Finland, and yeah, just like that. There's the planes. So as you see, here's Belarus. Here is Ukraine. And the flights are going definitely around those two countries. That is for sure. So I guess if you're going to come from Helsinki to Dubai, I guess you're going to either go through Russia or around this way, which is going to add to the flight. So I thought that was interesting. You've got all these flights and there's just everything's going around Ukraine. Not even near the border. So... Nothing in or out. There you go. Those are the five news events of the day. Well, actually, this is Finn Air's, I'm guessing, headquarters near the Helsinki. There's Finn Air there near the Helsinki airport. And we'll take a look. I think the Helsinki airport's north of near Vanta. 
And yeah, it's there. So let's see where Finnair is. I know it's around here somewhere. There it is. Finnair. O. Y. J. I think somebody in comments before it said that this is limited or LLC. The Finnish version of the company. So there we are. Finnair. I guess that's their headquarters. And that's where we were. Six yards, 5,000 points. Perfect score on this news of the day. Hopefully you got a perfect score. We went from Snowbird in the United States to the Dominican Republic and Haiti, Finland to Kiev in Ukraine and Pompeii. So as I said before, the links to the news articles, to the flight aware, all that stuff's in the description below. Also comment uh, if you have any news articles or news events, news things that you want me to include in the next couple of days, um, happy to do that. Also, you can send it to all over the map 23 at gmail.com. With that said, thanks for tuning in. Until next time, cheers.